Part 5, Focus to Succeed in Business Today. You know, without focus, you could be all over the map. In good ways, it's easy to stray some, experiment a little, try this or that without worry that it might not produce a single client or a dime of profit. But there's a truth when we need to stay true to during tough times, which is, you know, we don't have time to chance it, to stray far, risk or experiment without testing and measuring those methods, techniques, etc. Specifically and directly responsible for producing results, cash, income, and client satisfaction. Tough times are the most critical times for all of us to focus tightly on our businesses and what we have to do specifically to succeed during those tough times. Focus on those areas that generate steady income. Secure that income first before starting other projects only that might only be half-hearted or half-started or generate half the kind of income that you were making earlier. Uh, yeah. Focus on those products and services that pay the bills. Whichever product or service brings in the lion's share of your revenue, focus there. Maintain it. Make sure it continues to come in steadily and without a hitch. Engage your employees for success. During a recession, if you have employees, you typically have the undivided attention of every person in your company. This is when it's best and the easiest time to change those non-productive behaviors and habits that your employees or your partners might have. Ask and you shall receive. Ask your employees or your partners what areas of our business need help. Which areas are strong and productive? Comments, anything from the peanut gallery. Everybody, feel free to speak up. Many companies make across-the-board cuts because they don't have the facts telling them to do otherwise. So measure, survey, quantify, and analyze all the data before making such decisions. Engage your employees' help and assistance. Unite the company. Stand as one. Now this is if you have employees. But again, if you don't have employees, it's still important for you to focus Focus on where the money is right now during tough times. Don't stray. Don't try. Don't experiment. What worked in the past? What's working now? Well, let's emphasize our energy and time spent in this little area of our business because that's where the money is. And we'll try to lift it up through these tough times and focus right there. And I'm thinking of my, of my own stuff right now. If I have multiple books, multiple audios, which book is my bestseller? All right. I'm just going to commit all my time and commit to that one book right there, that one audio program, whatever it is, okay? Or if it's another service or something, and I'm just going to give that my all, everything else on the shelf. I'm going to focus to succeed in my business, and so should you. Now, side projects and part-time interests aside, tough times, again, call for focused attention on only those projects or aspects to our businesses that are productive and strictly income-producing components to our business. Tough times are not the time for dabbling in side projects or part-time interests or going on vacation. <laughs> Maybe, unless you really need it. <laughs> that might not forward the financial interest and stability of your company. Only after the tough times are over and prosperity reigns again, might one consider dabbling and sampling and experimenting in other areas of your business that are not so income-producing but more experimental, a little unproven, but you're hoping that they'll actually give you some information as to, ooh, an untapped market. Oh, a product that we didn't know there was a market for. Oh, interesting. So during the tough times, it's important to focus on those income generating products and services that pay the bills.